Oh, got this big powerhouse from Rap Power. Let's take a look. Oh, fancy. We got a fabric handbag. Okay, that's it. There's nothing else in the box. Right. Well, I like this bag already. Let's take a look. Uh, shoulder strap. Charger. User manual. Charger. By the way, I will do another uh, separate video about the charging from the solar panel. I have two 100 watt uh, flexible solar panel mounted outside my office. And that's what I'm gonna do. In my next uh, follow up review. Okay, let's pull the camera closer so we have a better look. There are two AC outlets. Well, it's not grounded anyway, so it's just two pin, which means um, I will never be used to. I will never be able to use the um, power strip like like so from the anchor or any other regular uh, power strip, obviously. And here we have a flashlight. I have not read the user menu yet, but uh, I think this is pretty straightforward. We have three out of five bars battery. Oh, it's very, very uh, bright. Wow, the LED flashlight. All powered off. We got two DC, uh, this kind of DC port. One input, one output. I, I think I have the MC4 solar adapter to uh, charge this device. Uh, I think the maximum input is 60 watts. I should have enough power to recharge it from solar. And that's our uh, power delivery port type C kind of um, I think this cable is included good it's capable of doing 60 watts output we also have three traditional type A port all right um, well so let's take a look, see if we can recharge my MacBook Pro with this port. I'll grab my MacBook Pro here. Enter my password. Right. Let me remove the bag. So again, let's take a last look at this bag we have. Um, um, web kind of exterior back here. Well, this is a well designed bag actually. Um, this bag is good for organizing all the cables, and that's it. That's the back. Well, proper feet. So if I open up a uh, coconut battery, let's see, the, it is uh, discharging, okay, uh, I forgot to turn it on, so press this button, it is on, single press, and the MacBook Pro is, should be charging. Uh, shows disconnected. Okay, 
it's fully uh, inserted. I wasn't, I did not pu push this all the way in. So we have three bars and it's charging with, um, this software isn't accurate. Uh, usually it will take a few minutes for it to go um, to the regular charging voltage here. Let's wait. And meanwhile, let's take a look at the AC power. I think they have another separate button here to enable the AC power. Okay, I think it is on. The light is on. Um, unfortunately, because it's two pin, I wouldn't be able to use this, uh, my regular power meter to test the power output because it would never fit. Um, well, let's see what I can do. So that's my that's 17.5 volts. I think it's going to increase or this cable may be uh, too thin. If I use a higher gauge cable, it may give me better results such as this one. This is a very thick PD type C kind of cable, super thick. I can replace this cable later. So in theory, I should be able to plug in my, uh, let me zoom out here. Should be able to plug in my Apple TV right here. By the way, uh, this is the RAV Power Type-C GAN charger, high efficiency, very compact. It fits, of course, here, like so. I can use this one to di directly charge my laptop. However, uh, the AC conversion loss is a big concern. I think it's going to be like 80% efficient. So it would be much better if you have a modern laptop. You want to use this um, DC to DC charging to avoid this one, if possible. So my Apple TV should be powered on. I think the AC just went off. Okay, it is on. Okay, my P Apple TV is on. On this side, I will plug in a uh, 4K monitor. This is a 4K monitor. Yeah, it looks like with the included, wait a minute. With the included uh, Type-C cable, it's only able to do 15 watts of charging. Let me switch to a thicker cable, see if, it, if I can get a better results. Because it claims 60 watts output, right? So that's the only way I can make sure this is 60 watts. Let's take a look, pay attention to here. All right, so on Apple TV is still on, plugged in here. And uh, let me power on my monitor. Okay, like so. Don't have much space. Um, I need another Type C. So this one I can actually use. I don't have another Type C port, so I just plug in into this one, like so. So my monitor would be powered. Then I plug in the HDMI cable from my Apple TV. My space is very limited here. All right, plugged in. Okay, Apple TV is on. Something like that. Uh, looks like I'm still only getting 15 uh, watts in my laptop here, as shown here. So I don't have a very accurate way of measuring 
the output, but I guess um, perhaps I should get a, a USB Type C meter somewhere. Hmm. Perhaps for the next review, if I can get a uh, USB meter to check this thing out. Um, yeah, I I'd like to get a real charging voltage here. It doesn't look like it's doing 60 watts. But maybe the due to the fact the computer is on, it's charging with only like th this much. I'm not sure. Cool. So, yeah, it powers these small electronic devices without any issue. Um, the maximum output is. I need to read about it. Let's see. So the maximum AC output is 300 volts max. Look at that. It is 250 volts rated. I think that's continuous. Overall, it's a pretty neat device. Um, good for camping and emergency backup. And the only thing I would improve is the uh, three prong um, plug because with this kind of receptacle it is very limited right as you can as you can see this is only uh, you can't even plug in a, a, another power strip so if I do this let's see if I get a better like if I can get a higher charging voltage here The handle is very nice. It's rubber kind of feel, ergonomic. Yeah, this thing is in the way. So plugging this direction is better. I would get a flush uh, mount. On the top, you have these These kind of um, tamper-proof screws, I guess. All the readings are described at the bottom. So, okay, there's a fan. It does not uh, run at this uh, low output or temperature hasn't reached its maximum. Fine. All right. In the next review, I will uh, do uh, solar charging. Please click, click uh, the like button or you know, subscribe to my channel. And also this one, I just want to give a shout out, shout out to All Powers. This is the uh, I have I've done two reviews on this unit. I, I think um, in terms of. Um, functionality and reliability this is a much better option actually um, yeah it has a display I really like the display yeah I wish this thing has a display and uh, maybe another volt output like this one we have a DC output here and MC4, uh, Anderson port, um, Anderson, M MTPT charging controller. All right, uh, so this one is still discharging. It's not charging, I think I accidentally turned it off or, or something. It's not connecting. It's one more time. Yeah, this um, rubber stuff is really in the way. It gets in the way. Okay, it's 
charging. It's discharging. I'm not sure maybe this cable isn't great. Yeah, let me change the cable. charging it may take a minute to refresh so this is a unedited um, review uncut it's one shot so yeah try to give me a like and subscribe to my channel as I would produce more contents like this and of course uh, more battery bank reviews and uh, solar panels stuff like that if you're into this kind of stuff like I do Um, I'll do a follow-up review, perhaps later in a, in a couple weeks, as I get more um, experience with this unit.